Okay, so really quick before we get started, I just want to go ahead and thank a couple of you who have recently subbed. Hope you enjoy what you see here. And uh, I usually don't ask for any likes or subs at all, but if I could even get like maybe one or two, I can keep going and show off the rest of the new free bells that came with the last update. This is also just to sort of test out whether or not people would want to see the new ones that came from the update on here on the channel. So, suppose just let me know. I will gladly continue. Uh, but to start out with, we're going to do the first three that came in Star 5. And we'll work our way up from there going forward. And I'm going to probably be using this team for a good majority of them. This has probably become my favorite team to date. For obvious reasons, the original Super Saiyan 4 Goku paired up with Vados is just insane. Plus Blue Evolve Vegeta. There's really not a whole lot the enemy can do to you unless they're using, say for example, a Focus Flash Blue Vegeta. And even then, I do have an answer to that, thankfully, with Goku here. Who hits surprisingly decent for what it's worth. And hit even harder with the help of Godku here. And of course, I've got Godku as an O1 figure uh, because he's got a trigger square in the upper middle. Put him all into speed. He's actually very, very good. I'm surprised that not a whole lot of people that have seen watching Babo and uh, Mugs run him very often. Getting right into it, though, we have our first free battle against Kid Gohan. Not a difficult one at all, level 50. Let's check out his figures real fast. 62, 63, 69, yeah. Uh, they also put in a couple of new skills for the Master. I think I already mentioned that. We'll have to go back and show those off. At least in the uh, shop menu. Kind of went crazy and just bought max of all of them as soon as they came out. And I personally hope that they keep going with the Hero Coliseum, at least for a little, because we still don't have Nova and Ice Shenron as figures. It would just be nice to see him, I think. It'd probably be SRs or, or um, Rs, if anything, but still. I think it'd be cool to see him as figures. Not really a fan of the new Beerus at least that we got either. I was hoping they'd give us a new good UR Beerus, but they shafted him and made him an SR and he's not even that good. A lot of the new character skills that came with the last update have to do with your master. I think a lot of it is uh, defense based. There's not really anything else you can add to the master, so. Makes sense. This question also pretty much goes out to everybody. Has anyone seen or heard from Raven Gaming at all recently? Because now and then I still check over on his channel and... I don't know. Starting to get kind of worried. I haven't seen him in quite a while. Good enough. Let's 
get that and that. I don't know how many times I have to say it, get that blue evolved Vegeta figure, he's far too good. Particularly the, the um, HP variant. He doesn't even have on attack up second, and you just saw how much damage he deals, it's ridiculous. Just because of how I have him built though, I'd give him ultimate gauge of turn 5 to screw over the usual foes I run into with ultimate gauge down every turn. It's annoying when I keep running into him. And I apologize, I think I already just did that one. Picked the wrong one on accident. Whoops. Let's see, so we just did the one with... I picked the wrong thing. Okay, we just did the one with Gohan, now we're moving on to Raditz. He's not running any Nappa or Vegeta figures. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I think... I want to say just about every Goku figure has attack. I don't have to go back and look, but pretty sure that's the case. Obviously not an of Z Goku. You can easily make up for that with uh, Super Saiyan God Goku. No counter attack. Awesome. for being a bit more silent on this one also I just took uh, Tylenol a second ago I think I kind of stretched wrong and my shoulder is <laughs> not doing so well right now nothing serious I probably just didn't you know stretch right it'll probably feel better in the morning And again, I do want to thank all of the people who have subbed recently. i <laughs> pretty flattered, honestly. I don't really find my content. At least me personally, I don't find it that good. Like, if I want good Hero Coliseum content, I don't go to, like, uh, Unleashed Channel, Rock and Robo, and Monk the Dude. So, that's very much appreciated, and, uh, yeah, just look forward to more, I suppose. actually a raid going on right now too. They started it at a very weird time. They started it like really early Friday morning. I think it's supposed to last till Monday. It's the one with Hercule. 
And I don't know, I'm just really sick of all the super armor. I think the best ray we've gotten so far is probably the one with Android 16. They give them Peeler Storm, it's at the industrial sector. And uh, he's also got Hell's Flash and Gigantic Heat Explosion. So a lot of tight corridor doors over there with all the buildings. I just think that was such a well done raid. He has to get super armor when he's um, using his skills. So his like Android tackle has uh, but easy chance at one-shotting you when he splits everyone up. Forgot to mention that, he splits everyone up also. Just think that was such a great raid. I was gonna do a recording for that one originally also, but I was having too much fun with it. And, um, the usual sidetracks here and there with Gauntlet and, um, Sonic Mania. Some Super Mario World here and there. I gotta get back to Dark Souls 3 also. Also recently got my Master's Crown in Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate. Very difficult. The EX hunts in that game for all the deviants, about as difficult as the Dark Souls games. It's crazy how hard they made the monster set. But anyway, all I got left in there is the arena. I've done literally everything else. Okay, we're gonna skip that, that, and that. It sucks too, because I know I have recordings on my channel already at Monster Hunter. It was like just such a pain for us to set up in the main room though. If I had like an Elgato and an easier way of recording from my Switch, I would, but it just seems like a whole lot of hassle. skip the enemy and let mine play out in case I get counterattacks. I just think it's a waste of time to watch the enemy when you just, you know, skip it all. Be surprised if this was a one-shot. Okay, good. You know, speaking of shoulder pain, what the hell was Yamcha thinking slapping Beerus on the back? Idiot. And there's no way I'm going second here, so... just put him behind Bottos and gotten it over with. I 
it's fine though, he's done either way. Yeah, that is the only downside to putting all the dupes for Vados in HP. She just does not hit very hard. Also doesn't help that she's had her damage decreased. And you know what? Yeah, we're not gonna waste time. We're in the spots out. Okay, so we're not gonna waste time. Just in case. I have to say, they also really made it grindy to get the new Gogeta EX figures maxed at all 10 out of 10. It'll be a lot easier though if you keep getting dupes of them and combine them all and then when we're like, breaking them in an EX because they do keep their dupes. But anyway, that is pretty much going to do it for that one. I'll catch you guys in the next one with the last few free battles for the five star ones. And uh, yeah, just look forward to that. I'll see you later. Peace.